Hey guys, dressing. Next question that was sent to us. Um, talking about loading. Um, more specifically, I think they was asking about weight shift and transferring of the weight. Um, so younger kids I believe have a hard time sort of really controlling their body, um, having the core strength, uh, strength in their legs to really be able to really hold positions. Um, as they get a little bit older, maybe it should be a little bit easier as they gain a little bit of strength and more um, coordination. But I'm going to go through a few things that uh, could be a thought processes, things to think about, work on, even if they're not perfect at a young age, they can sort of build um, to understand what they're trying and wanting to do. Uh, one of the big things I see with kids that are loading, they just think about, I got to get back, I got to get forward. So there's a, you know, a, a rock back, a fall forward. And that's gonna just, that's not creating any, you know, power that is, you know, not really helping anything at all with that. So we don't wanna just shift back, shift forward. We wanna think about more of coiling around the back hip, which should be, as I, if I lift my leg, if I, you know, just shift back, I should feel like my rear pocket of my back, uh, butt cheek is sort of going toward the pitcher so there should be a coil around the back side without just spinning my shoulders my shoulders are staying more square the rear knee is sort of going to work back just a little bit as you can see this going here um, hands are staying back <clears throat> a lot of times what i'll see is you know when kids are shifting back shifting forward they come forward the hands just come forward with them we want to think about the hands staying strong and staying back so we want to move forward as I stay back. Now I'm centered, now I can rotate and work from there. So keep the hands back in a strong position as you move back forward with your weight. I like the verbiage of once I do come back forward, I don't want to just keep shifting forward as I land, is when the front foot lands, it's sort of like we're just slamming the brakes on the front foot and then everything works behind it not letting it drift into swing and contact. A um, few drills to work on um, to help with those things is just to feel over exaggeration of the weight shifting is a step back drill where T set up normally right down the middle, just sort of right at the front foot. We'd shift up just a little bit more center of the body. And all we're gonna simply do is to give a step back to land and work from there. And so we wanna feel myself getting the weight shifted back. As I step back, land back forward, we're gonna feel myself turning behind, being in that good athletic L with the back leg, finish head down at contact. Um, the, uh, another drill I have the PVC that I like to do is to feel the hand staying back. If the hands are on the pipe, pipes in the ground, and as I load and coil and I move forward, the hands are staying back. A lot of times the kids are first movement with the hands instead of the hips. And so just feel the hips starting to turn and the hands are staying back when we're here. You can get a T to feel if we're really getting, if we're shifting back and shifting forward or if we're getting in a good hinge position, feeling my posture get here, hips are getting back, getting cold a little bit. It's just set this T up behind your um, right back butt cheek your right handed hitter with a ball on it and the goal is we're not swinging is we're getting into a low position and I should feel that ball knock off when it's there. I'm getting in that position. If we just go back and forth, we're never going to get to that spot there. Um, with shifting of the weight, like I said, we don't want to fall, lean back, fall forward. I really believe in uh, sometimes it's Good, just work on really being aggressive. But when I'm working on T work front short toss, is being in control of what I'm doing. And so if I'm not, if I can't control what I'm doing, I'm not going to be able to maintain my balance. So when we're doing these swings, even if it's a dry swing, is going through, you know, your swing and being able to stick the finish. Right? We should be balanced, sort of head over shoulder, shoulder over hip, hip over knee, and we're just stacked right there in that position. Um, not falling around everywhere, feeling a good weight shift, land, turn, balance, finish, 
when I'm here, everything's stacked well. We don't want to be feeling forward. Don't want to lean back and stay back and stay there. Feel more stacked.